Hey everyone, Nancy here. It is April 14, 2020, and it is 540. Oops, sorry. I'm looking the other way, so the camera's kind of going all over the place. It's 540 in the afternoon. So, guys, I have another, uh, I guess it's an update um, from Sadhu Sundar Selvaraj of, from Angel TV. Yeah, um,. I posted some videos about the warnings that God is speaking through him regarding the coronavirus and um, you know the dangers of it and how people that believe in him and live for him and live right are you know living righteously for are living righteously for him don't have to worry about anything so he gives instructions for how to how to um, you know not be afraid right and so basically, you have to read like Psalm 91 and be in a very uh, intimate relationship with the Lord so that you'll be protected, okay? And always just believe that He will protect you. You know, read Psalm 91 over yourself every day and He will protect you. But you have to be living righteously. You have to have forgiveness in your heart and you have to like just look it up. Look look what living righteously means and you'll understand um you'll understand exactly what it means to be living righteously for God so that he will uh, he he can protect you and so in the latest prophetic um message that happened uh, about oh on sunday today is tuesday so it just happened on this past sunday yeah so sadhu um he describes a lot more like with like greater detail about what's going to be happening with the some other viruses that are going to be coming out. I mentioned that in, in another video. Like there are going to be two more viruses that are worse than the coronavirus that are going to be following the coronavirus, okay? And but you don't have to be afraid, but it's going to be a very scary time, but because you guys believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, now is not the time for you to get scared. Now is the time for you for you guys to build up your your spiritual strengths, okay, and your your emotional strengths and your psychological strengths, and your yeah your spiritual strengths, so that you can, you will be the strength that other people need to help them to get through what is about to happen. So, so like right now, the coronavirus is freaking everybody out, even Christians. So if you're afraid, um, that's something that you need to, you know, just get it out of your system. Start working on no longer being afraid. Because, like I said, there are going to be two more viruses. Just as Sadhu said, God told them that there are going to be two more viruses um, that are going to be coming after the coronavirus. And they're going to be worse, worse, worse. More worse than the coronavirus. Okay, so this is why we need to be prepared. And in the video that, like the message that, um, the conference that he that he had to, uh, on Sunday, he like I said, he, he explains a lot more and he goes into great detail, okay? You guys have to listen to it. Listen to it from, from the beginning to the end because he goes into great detail. And um, just as um, a reminder for those of you guys, if you guys are new to Sadhu, he, he always has his conferences in, like he, in Tamil and in English. So sometimes there will be a Tamil speaker and then there will be a Tam uh, an English translator standing next to the Tamil speaker. Or sometimes there will be an English speaker and then there will be a Tamil translator. So this time Sadhu is going to be speaking in English and there's going to be a Tamil instruct, um, a Tamil translator. Okay, guys? So, yeah, I'm really excited, guys, because I'm excited because I know that I don't have to be afraid of whatever's coming next. I don't, I'm not afraid of the coronavirus and I'm not afraid of what's coming next. And like, for example, uh, about two weeks ago, I was in the, I was in the elevator, and um, this um, person walked in. I was downstairs, downstairs on the first floor, and somebody uh, walked in to the building, and um, they were they were also waiting for the elevator. So we both got in, and this person started coughing and coughing and coughing, and I just rolled my eyes. I'm like, oh brother, I mean, this person really has to cough, and then I remembered you know, what the Lord said. He said, Nancy, you don't have to be afraid because he did tell me that before. So sometimes I kind of forget, but that was two weeks ago. So now I'm no longer afraid. Yep. And yeah, so it's that easy, guys. Just just believe in what God says and stick with that and hold on to that because, guys, we know that God is not a liar, right? He is the truth. So whenever he speaks, he speaks 
the truth because he's literally made up of the truth right remember in the bible when the lord jesus said to the devil that he is the father of lies right he doesn't understand the truth like the the, the devil is the father of lies so he's literally made up of lies so anything that comes out of his mouth is always a lie because he, he his dna is made up of a lie so god is made up of the truth so everything that comes out of his mouth is the truth he cannot lie it's impossible okay so now you don't have to be afraid okay guys um so yeah so make sure that you listen to the video like the message from the beginning to the end and please don't skip through the 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 praises guys because that is a really horrible offense to god if we're going to watch a, a message and we're going to fast forward from the praises that they're doing for him in the beginning um that just shows what kind of people we are we are wretched people we don't care about praising god we don't care about giving him praise and and you know honoring him because he's so good we just want to rush to the quote unquote good stuff okay so for you guys who do that shame on you shame on you and and don't believe that you are going to develop the strength that you need in order to de to deal with the coronavirus and other worse things that are coming and worse things that are coming after that because it because there are worse things coming so if you're if you're one of those who skips through you're not going to develop the strengths because you're not genuine you don't care about praising god and, and honoring him for the protection he's giving us through praising him okay you need to praise him just watch and and enjoy and 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 praise god through your heart through the songs that you know that they're doing like that they're singing on in the message for him yes okay guys so i guess i'm gonna go and if you have any questions just let me know and um yeah i don't know what else what else should i tell you guys what else should i tell you guys yeah so just and make sure that you share share the link guys share the link to saudi's uh video share it because everybody who, that you know that is a christian they need to see this Non-Christians, they're not going to believe. They're just going to think you're crazy. But you need to share it with Christians because it's the Christians who are needing this right now. Because we're the ones who are needing to develop the strengths, okay, the mental strength, the, the spiritual strength, in order to deal with what's happening now and what is coming later. All right? Because there are going to be a lot of Christians who are going to be so weak, they're, they're just going to panic and say, forget this. And they're going to walk away from God. They're going to suffer. They're going to they're gonna get the virus. They're going to get whatever's coming. But if you hold on and allow the Lord to build you up, you're going to be protected. And you're going to be um, like considered, like not considered, but what I'm saying is God is going to see you. He's going to see you as someone who is so worthy of his protection because you are honoring him. God's not going to waste his time with, with weak, weak cowards. And for those of you who are who are a little bit cowardly right now, but you don't mean to be, okay, that's okay. You are one of those, you're amongst those who are willing to let the Lord build you up, okay? So don't be afraid, even though you're feeling a little bit cowardly right now, don't be afraid and don't feel bad because it's normal for people to feel a little bit, you know, oh, I don't want to go do that. I'm too afraid. I, you know, I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. I, I don't want to develop my, my strengths because I don't have I will not have the courage. No, you, you will have the courage because you're willing to allow, to allow God to build you up. Okay? So for the cowards who are listening, you're going to suffer. And for those who are feeling a little bit cowardly, but you don't want to be, you're not going to suffer. You will develop the strengths because that's how um, loyal you are to God. Let's zoom in on that person over there. Who's that? Well, I don't know. It was snowing, guys. Yep, it was snowing. Well, normally we do get snow in April, but because we we've had a very weak, a very weak um, winter, everybody's getting shocked because it was snowing. Anyway, okay, guys. So thanks for coming. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell, because when you click on the bell, you will be notified for every time that I upload a video. Thank you for coming. Muchas gracias por venir. I love you all. Los quiero todo el mundo. And Dios los bendiga. God bless you. Chao, chao.